Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a mini PC and this is made by Millie. Um, back in 2021, I have reviewed one of their uh, mini PC at that time, but technology have moved on so much in the last few years. Fast forward to 2024 and um, this one is a Intel N100 CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. Mini PC has been around for a long time and there is many use for it. One of the main use will be for uh, digital digital display for example this one will be hiding behind a television and this will display the menu system or graphics for advertising so for those scenario you wouldn't want to have a big computer attached to your uh, TV you probably just want a power lead and that's it nothing else so actually having a mini PC like this I can actually unplug the peripherals and then just go to my main PC there, plug in the peripheral and then I can just use the same PC which I'm going to run my Elisa engraver. But I also want to dab into um, playing games as well so maybe I can show you what this mini PC can and can't do. So this one here you can get it from Amazon for about $200. I choose the 16 gigabyte variant because um, I think this will be a good balance between um, budget and work but they do an 8 gigabyte as well as a 32 gigabyte version so ram is something that you can't really change in this kind of computers so it is best to pick the one to your budget my video is not scripted all i'm showing you is the unboxing um, how i'm going to use the computer and i'm going to set up a 4k display here as well as using my t television in the background to show you what this computer can and can't do if you find my information useful don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow for 200 dollars or 200 pounds you buy a mini pc which come in a box like this and, um, with a mini pc there is not a lot in the box there is a quick start guide and you can see there's only uh, one page so there's literally not much to say about the installation of this uh, PC. Look how small it is. Thin enough to keep in your pocket. I swear I have seen like smartphone bigger than this. Anyway, so you've got three full-size USB-A ported here. Two of them are the blue color 3.0. And then in the front you've got your power button, power switch. So at the back you've got your fan exhaust. This is where the heat will have to uh, come out. The bottom plate here is metal. The rest of the casing is plastic. So you've got a full-size Ethernet port at the back. This is a Gigabyte Ethernet port. Then you've got a 12 volt uh, USB-C. Now this is for power input. You've got two display port here, which is for HDMI. You've got one a micro SD card slot. You've got a 35 mil um, audio output. Um, socket as well as a USB-C. So this one here is capable of putting out graphics. So you have one, two, and then you've got three display outputs if you desire to set it up like that. In terms of portability, this is tiny so you can slip it in your back pocket and in terms of weight, it weighs 332 grams. On to the second layer of your box, you will have your power adapter. Now this power adapter have a USB-C output. In terms of power rating, it has a 12 volt output at three ampere. So this one is actually 36 volt of power. I live in the UK, so I got a UK three pin plug. And basically it's just a converter to convert this into a UK three pin. Just like that. Cable lengthwise, this is about 120 centimeters or maybe one meter, so it's not that long. The last items coming out of the box is this metal plate here and some screws. This is to mount your mini PC to the back of the monitor usually. For the base of the mini PC, there is two screw holes which is ready for the screws that they provide you with. And that is all the contents from the box. So time to set up my mini PC to show you guys what this can and can't do. I've got my 4K big monitor here and I also got my television unplugged for my uh, mini PC that I use in the studio right here. First we go with um, this one here which is the keyboard. This one take up one of the USB A ports. And then I've got a mouse here. I don't think there's any battery at the moment so Better stick with the wire that you use up the second port. So I still have one more USB-A port left. 4K display is using a HDMI. So one of the HDMI slot is taken now. And then the second HDMI is going to go to my television. 
at the back there. The mini PC will need a USB-C power, so I'm gonna use the adapter right here. You can see that you start to get a bit congested. Two of these, which is this peripheral here, um, two display and one power. I still have the Ethernet port, I still have one USB-C for the display, the third display, which I don't really have. And there's one more thing I want to plug into the computer today, and that is the speaker. I'm gonna press start. Now this is pretty much a standard Microsoft um, OS system. We start with choosing your language and so far there's no noise. There's no fan noise or anything like that. And then we just let the windows do its thing. It's getting slightly warmer in the middle here but still there's no fan. So this is the first time we put into the windows and I can see that my television is flickering, flickering because the refresh rate is not right. Maybe change it to 30, still flickering, 24. Slightly better, so 50 seems to have sorted, so I'm going to keep that setting. If you are using a computer monitor, you usually wouldn't need to do that, just because my camera setting and the plasma TV setting it needs to be sorted. Let's go back to showing you what this computer is all about. Let's go into Windows, Settings. So this processor is Intel N100, and install RAM is 16 GB, which is correct, and is running Windows 11 Pro version 23H2. Let's connect to the internet. Let's go to Wi-Fi, variable network. Now I'm going to connect to my 5G Wi-Fi network. Now so far it's quite responsive. I don't see any lagging or anything like that, which I do expect from a 2024 um, technology. Now what I'm doing right now is setting up the computer to the way I like my computer to run. If you like Windows and Microsoft, then you might just go ahead and start using the built-in browser as such. But So the fan is on, but either it's running at very low power or it's actually really quiet because you won't hear it until you put your ear next to it. And, and it doesn't feel like that much heat coming out either. Right, there seems to be a lot of electrical noise with this uh, speaker right here. So let's try and do something different. Let's unplug the 35mm. I'm connecting the speaker Bluetooth. Now, because this is a digital connection, so there shouldn't be any ground loop noise or anything like that. Yep, perfect. That sounds about right. So please bear with me while I get through all the updates and setup so that I can show you the best that I can in terms of what this computer can and can't do. Out of the box, there's quite a few uh, Windows updates needs to be done. And I do highly recommend that you switch on updates and get the most up to date and security updates. Now we have my uh, mini PC set up and I have a lot of software downloaded so I can show you guys what this uh, mini PC is capable of. So let's start with the Wi-Fi 5G. So this is my phone. Um, so my phone is a iPhone 12 Pro and download speed here with the 5G Wi-Fi is 23.73 download speed and this is mega per second so let's try with the mini PC so the Wi-Fi speed is quite consistent um, 23 on my phone and 24 on the mini PC Wi-Fi I mean that is respectable and then we got to do some browsing for example let's go to YouTube Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel today I got an interesting gadget to show you and this is the bio compost bean by Jimmy now this is a electric 19 liter compost bean where it it uses electricity to provide the best environment to accelerate the decomposition of food waste. I'm going to show you all the details how it works. So this is what uh, you get for your money as per my usual video. That was 4K. It'll be interesting to see what these expensive products can do. I hope I managed to show you what I mean by reflection. So the towel actually catches the light. And I can see it at that corner right here, it's sparkling light. That means that so obviously that the back is 1080p. The, it is, the feed is 4K, but so the television is uh, 1080p. This monitor is a 4K In fact, monitor. The camera find it difficult to focus without those kind of uh, shiny lights. Watching uh, YouTube, obviously, is not really a power-hungry thing. So 4K output on one monitor, 1080p on the other. I have no problem with using. Uh, YouTube. So I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, so I'm not going to close anything, so I'm just going to leave it in the uh, tab. So the next thing I want to test is Lightburn. Now Lightburn is a software that I use for 
laser engraving. So it's not really graphics intensive, but you know, depends on what you have um, opening um, in the software itself. So because some of the photos can be quite big. I don't think there's lag or anything like that. Next up, we have CPU Z. So Intel N100 Alder Lake 10 nanometer technology. The main board is just say here mini PC. Then memory rise is DDR4, 16 gigabytes. The RAM is DDR4, 3 200. Let's start my graphics editing uh, program. So yeah, it seems it seems to be working just fine. Okay, let's minimize that. So so Roblox is some like a low level gaming thing, so it should run. Nope, he's driving me around. Okay, so that's Robux. What next? Okay, well, we're gonna run some Ginchi Impact. So this is a game that I kind of stopped playing now, but my my kids used to play this game and I used to join them. Now this is quite graphic intensive, so I don't expect this to run smooth, but it should be able to run. At 4K. It does get warm, but not hot to touch. And I'm just surprised there's still not a lot of fan. The fact that it's actually running the game is quite impressive already. Okay, so Genshin Impact loaded um, on this side of the screen, running at 4K, obviously the lowest kind of a setting. Um, I get about 5 FPS, which is not really playable. I mean, they managed to run the game, but you can't play like this. But if you have a look, so we have Genshin Impact running here, and I got my, um, and I got my image software Editing at the background there, I got Roblox Studio still running, and I got Lightburn at the background as well. So, in terms of multitasking, um, this machine is just doing fine, and um, there's not a lot of fan noise. In fact, I'm thinking that you know why is there not much fan noise? Is there a problem with this? But saying that, everything seems to be working. Okay, so since uh, 4K is not playable, let's scale it down and see if it helps. Okay, so after that, then it will be 1920, 1440. So you double the frame rates to 15 or 16. So still not really uh, enjoyable experience, although you can play it if you really want to. So I'm going to change it to 1080p. So at 1080p, I'm getting 22 frames per second. 
Now I can really play the game. Illusion shattered. Okay, when the screen is that small, obviously, like, you know, you have to sit closer to the 4K screen to play it, but now it has like full 30 frames per second. So, what is lacking in uh, processing power is really the graphics. It'd be nice if it has a better graphics, but I guess it's a trade off for using a small PC. Um, how about some work? So let's have a look. Office. So, I mean, um, this is with all the tabs open, so let's close them one by one. So I've got Excel open, I've got Word document open. I got my um, YouTube tab open. Obviously my browser was open. Let's switch off that. My game is still running on the background, so let's close that as well. Now I have CPU Z. Let's close that one. That one is on the other side. Dinchi launcher. Let's close that. Got light burn on the other side. Can I close it from here? Yes, I can. My GIMP, which is graphic editing, discard changes. So that closed as well. Light burn is still on. So let's close that one. Do I want to save project? No. And then Roblox needs to turn off. The browser off. Yeah, so that's uh, that's about it. So hopefully in this video I managed to show you what this mini computer can and cannot do. So the portable size is really convenient and um, there's no noise at all. I mean this is a lot quieter than I expected. Almost like I don't trust it actually cooling the machine enough because there's not a lot of hot air coming out. I can actually feel the warmth on this side but quite cool on the other side. And uh, yeah, plenty of USB port to choose from. I was only able to test two display, not the three. But um, knowing that it can run Genshin Impact, I'm sure this will be able to run the third monitor on your normal um, work applications. I hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to see more of interesting gadgets. Bye bye.